Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, we got the uh, Homecoming Roadmap update. Um, they just released it a little bit ago. I put a video up and it didn't have sound. <laughs> but um, yeah, they got it all ready to go. They did say in the, the Homecoming update that uh, they want to revamp Gwent and they're going to need six months to fully do what they want to do. Uh, they're going to update the faction challenges they're going to have warped arena rule sets um we will only release two updates during this time one in april it will introduce missing premium cards as well as faction board skins and one in may which will balance out the game war dancer included with a new approach to create six months is a long time they do say but uh, after homebreaker concludes we will go out of beta and into release full you know full release and they will release throne breaker at the same time so that's october 13th get that uh get that date marked down so you can uh go all out for throne breaker um some of the things they plan on changing um they want to turn the the board into a battlefield um from what this says it looks like they're going to go back to row locked units um because right now the way they feel it just doesn't feel like you know rows don't matter um, and they also might uh, add uh, rows in the front and back might grant different buffs which would be really really cool uh, lots of synergy there upgrading the board currently rows have no impact on the gameplay we can count on we can count the hands of both players we're looking f we are looking at eight rows in total our greatest visual asset the card art and the premium versions of these cards um so they're looking to change it the one thing i think that's crazy um i don't know if they we went over that yet but um they were saying something about um only two rows i thought i seen that somewhere in here but they only might have uh ranged in melee yeah here it is we are considering even cutting one row and uh, leaving only melee and ranged it's still something that requires extensive testing but we're making serious um, but we're that serious about making things work uh, they said they are going to fix the coin flip uh, they're working on it uh, revamping player progression so they're going to change how you level up and go and get achievements and revise the rank mode with suitable rewards focusing on skill and player agency um, I guess they're basically saying, you know, that the uh, create isn't something they want in ranked, but they will have it in arena and casual modes. Um, refocusing on core gamers, we want Gwent, we want Gwent to remain a deep game where each faction has its own identity and offers distinct gameplay and archetypes. We want rows to really matter in terms of gameplay, and gameplay itself needs to be engaging and rewarding. So they they're kind of admitting the game's kind of stale right now, but they're they're doing things to make it better uh bringing back the witcher homecoming will bring back a darker aesthetic and mood more in sync with the original lore of the witcher um this will include main menu and in-game shop as well as con work on consistent ui and ux throughout the entire game so that's awesome that's why i love gwent it's it's all you know evil throne breaker we saved the best for last after homecoming concludes we will launch Gwent along with Thronebreaker, our single player campaign dedicated team has been hard at work to deliver you a great new story from the Witcher universe. Expect goodness. Best regards, Marson. I'll put this in the comments here so you can read it yourself because I'm not a very good reader. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, um, it looks like everything's going to be uh, getting some changes. Six months is a long time, but uh, it's CDPR, man. They, they want things to be right. They when they put their you know stamp on something they want it to look the way they want it to look so you know unfortunately some people aren't going to like it but i'm okay with it i uh i love the game still i i you know i just want it to be great um but uh that's the video for today guys um i'll have a video out on monday uh with um shoot milf guard shoot guard uh so keep an eye out for that but like always thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.